welcome home. Terrell here. I just finished the build of my new custom bass banjo. So, the parts that I used for this were very difficult to obtain. I was able to get my hands on a gold tone fretless bass banjo neck. Um, it was difficult to get my hands on, but luckily um, I, was, I was able to get a hold of it when I was um, in California and I was able to bring that back with me to Australia. I just used an uh, off-the-shelf um, uh, uh, pot and uh, resonator here. They're just maple, you know, they're pretty common. Um, and a maple and uh, rosewood bridge there and a Remo, a black head there. And so the black banjo head is supposed to enhance the response of lower frequencies, so it basically helps the bass uh, stand out more and be stronger. It's not as clear and bright as other banjo heads, but that's not what we want here. We're playing bass banjo. So when I first started this build, I didn't have the black head yet, so I used the frosted head and the bass was very weak. I wasn't getting much volume out of it, but after putting the black on there, um, it it's got enough sound to where I'd feel comfortable playing this uh, in a jam with other uh, musicians, especially uh, banjo players. I'm looking for uh, banjo players to play with. So I haven't uh, checked the scale length on that yet. The neck was originally designed for a 14 inch pot. This is 11. I was weighing up um, purchasing parts and assembling it, but it was getting very expensive. The build would have been a little um, too much for an experiment because I didn't know how I was able to, if I, was, if I would be able to get this thing sounding and playing well enough. So um, I was able to just work with the neck and attach it to this 11 inch pot and I'm quite happy with the sound. One of the unique characteristics of the banjo instrument itself is not having much sustain. So that's actually, it doesn't really help uh, when you want to play a fretless bass because you're already going to have the least amount of sustain out of any variation of the banjo. And that's, it may not, it may be why we don't see that many fretless bass banjos. This is uh, from Goldtone, who is uh, a fantastic manufacturer. They design really just wonderful, creative, interesting instruments. Some of my instruments in my collection are from Goldtone. I really enjoy them. I would have liked to purchase a Goldtone uh, fretless bass banjo, but I was not able to find one. And the bass banjo, they do have a bass banjo available, um, but it was a bit... Um, out of my price range at the moment because I had just purchased a cello banjo from them uh, and a 12-string uh, uh, guitar mandolin from them as well. So uh, I wasn't really in the market to spend another fair chunk of change uh, for a bass banjo when it's an instrument. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use it with other uh, musicians and um, I thought I think it would be more fun to try and build one myself. So. Luckily, I was able to get that part from them. I'm I'm so happy with this build. It's got such a distinct look with that black head on there and those brass strings, um, which are kind of lower tension anyway, uh, these brass uh, acoustic bass strings. But kind of looking at this, I, I show it to people and they think that it's got such an interesting look. I can't wait to use this in performances. I want to use this on stage. I'm currently um, uh, preparing to install a uh, microphone system that'll be an internal mic. I don't want to use a saddle pickup or a piezo. That's just going to sound too strident and plonky, and you're not going to get the full characteristics, the full timbre of the instrument. You're just gonna get the raw vibrations from the strings, which do not sound good um, for a banjo. Um, from my experience is that the audience tends to um, to see them die inside a little bit um, when <laughs> when I've been to clubs and banjo players have like a like a like a saddle 
uh, pickup for their banjo. Um, and so I would like a microphone and get a more natural warm tone out of it. So this is my bass banjo build. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at that. You could build one yourself. I started with um, pretty cheap off the shelf uh, parts, you know, um, and just improved components and, and adjusted uh, the neck uh, to fit. And I'm, I'm very happy with the sound. So I'll be using this in my upcoming uh, compositions uh, and recordings, and I'll be using it in performances and in jams uh, wherever I go. So I hope you enjoyed a look at that. Um, please stick around if you'd like to hear more of this. I will be using it in recordings. And you'll be able to hear this in action alongside other instruments with work that I compose. Take care, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you around.